Hey guys, welcome back to my video. So today we're going to be talking about some interesting MM2 uh, news. We got a small update in the game. And uh, this update is uh, number one. If you are below level 10, you have to get to level 10 to unlock trading. And I'm pretty sure that's to like prevent duping or... Yeah, something like that. It's probably just like to prevent duping. So no one can really like... Dupe. But like, it's still easy. Like you just get to level ten and then you can dupe. Like, but here's the problem. Like, say they really raise the level requirement higher than ten. Say it was like fifty. For dupers, they can just like get to level fifty and grind. But from like a normal player standpoint, they're gonna have to get all the way to level fifty, which might be hard for some players that don't play this game all the time, just to do trading. Which it's so it's really difficult to stop duping, but also make sure that the normal like your average players are doing fine but besides from that in other news according to magic trippy we have a timer on the mm2 leaderboard and as you can see you can't see it anywhere here it's just saint nicholas you go to main event no no timer mystery box christmas box no timer no timer but when you go to the leaderboard it says time left five days and ten hours so some people are probably freaking out out there like uh Oh my gosh, does that mean there's five days left in the event? How am I going to get enough snow tokens? How am I going to complete the battle pass? Blah, 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 blah. But, what's interesting about that is that's not the event ending. That's just the leaderboard ending. That might be confusing, but like... What I'm trying to say is like, in five days and ten hours, it's not the whole Christmas event that's ending. We're not going to go back to normal MM2. It's just the leaderboard. Like, the leaderboard is going to stop and freeze. Like, every no more grinding we don't need to grind all the grinding is done and all these people that are here right now once these five days pass if anyone's on the leaderboard they're on there the event after these five days so once the leaderboard is done in five days and ten hours the event is still going to be going on for like another week so it's going to be three weeks like usual but i wonder how it's going to work because like what, what will happen if you start like grinding tokens when the leaderboard's over I'm assuming it just won't count, but you'll get the tokens because no leaderboard, but the event's still there. And so this is such great news for all those leaderboard players out there. Whoever, all these people on this grinding leaderboard are probably pretty happy about that. So in five days, they can stop grinding and actually enjoy the event. And then we have the people on the gifts given leaderboard and they don't need to give any more gifts. So yeah, all these people, no one needs to give any more gifts in five days and the leaderboard's over and it's sealed. But, yeah, people like me, I'm really nervous about this. So, hopefully it goes really well because, like, it's really nerve-wracking. But the five days, so, apparently, I'm, like, I don't know. It's just, it's just scary because, like, I have five days and it's just, like, so boring. I don't know what to do and, like, how to handle this. But I'm in the funny place, 69, with 588 gifts given. And... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to make the leaderboard because uh, the number 100 has 418. And yeah, after those five days, I'll keep you updated like every day in the community post and stuff about the leaderboard and how it's going. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So pretty much just fixing, duping, not really that useful though. And then the timer for the leaderboard was gonna be real helpful for me. Hopefully I can make it. Bye guys.